Hello. So in this video, what I want to do is just basically tie up all the loose ends of all the uh, little storage hacks that I've made, boxing things in and, and such like. I've got another couple of bits to show you. Um, and what I'll do is sort of add everything else into this video. Um, I'll show you what I've done. And then in the description, I'll put which original video they're in and a rough idea of the timestamp that they're at. So if you want to see how to do it, you can look at that. It's sort of the only way I can group them all together because um, being the total amateur that I am, once I've uploaded a video, I delete all the original footage. So I can't make an amalgamation video, unfortunately. I will get more professional maybe one day. Not really. Um, so yeah, a couple more little mods, um, which is basically all I can think of for now until we actually get to use the van in anger. Once we're out and about on the road, I'm sure I'll find little other ideas that I can, you know, do. But for now, just using it on the drive, these are the only things that I've sort of come up with. So, yeah, all the bits in one go, following now. I thought I'd best uh, film this. It might help somebody. Uh, Heather's seen this on the internet. Again, can't claim this. In the top of your overhead storage, there's a little panel there which is obviously protecting the wiring behind there um, you flip the little tops off the screws which are, which are them they just flip out and then it shows you some screws you just undo the screws and this comes out and reveals a huge area there that's basically just got a bundle of wires really roughly thrown in obviously I'm just gonna box that in a lot smaller I don't know what that clip would have been for obviously something else different lighting or something I don't know I'm gonna take that off box that in and then obviously you've got a load more storage right spun the camera around see the rat's nest of wiring look if I can box that in a bit more, loads of space to be had. Right, so obviously the profile is there, and then this would be where the flat part starts. I'm going to trim that off along there and just face it the other way. I could make it out of a new piece of wood, but what's the point? Saving it for what reason? So that's my plan. Right, what you can see there, I've actually been able to shunt it across um, two more notches at the bottom. Um, then you can see down there, um, the other side of the wood, there's like a sticky out part. You can't go that far, but it just gains you a bit more there. Um, I want to see how I'm doing this so I can see as well. I've got my camera on reverse view, so it's like a mirror. So I can just see that I'm not too close to the wires or anything. Um, and all seems good, so it's going to be boxed in a lot smaller, that. Just got to make a back for it now. Well, I don't know how much you can see. If you look, I've cut a piece of wood and just chamfered the top. Put some modesty blocks on and screwed it to itself and then to that far wall but what I've been able to do is just jam it on top of this little thing here which will enable me to cut the uh, piece that I've already cut down a little bit shorter and butt up to that I'll show you that in a second right it's easier to film it reverse like that um, yeah I think that's a, a brilliant idea whoever's idea that was that Heather's pinched uh, they didn't box it in as small as me but every every bit helps I mean you'll get you know you get a coat down there or anything good shout that whoever that was okay so first little thing I've done is the door in the front here where you can access to store isn't exactly big um, so it limits what you can actually get through the gap but there's loads of room inside so one of the hacks I did for this side and the other side was undo the four screws that hold it on and actually hinge it bit of piano hinge at the back and you can get totally under there 
Same thing on the other side. Obviously you can't access the front of that because this is where your consumer unit is. But what I did was hinge it and box out around the unit just to create more storage space. This one seems the most copied one at the minute. This is the one where I've boxed in the water pump and uh, enabled my stacking to sort of not damage anything. That's just a little makeshift table at the back for if you just want a drink without putting the normal table up. That's a shelf in the end cupboard just so I can store the television underneath and still use the space above. This was the wardrobe, took the hanger out and uh, boxed the bottom in so there's a secret storage compartment underneath, shelved it and then obviously going to store food and stuff in there. This is underneath the cooker, basically boxed it out and it's enabled me to store a frying pan and a ridge monkey under there. In the bathroom, these are just from Home Bargains, little caddies. Um, stop stuff falling off the shelf, they're just screwed down to the wood underneath. There's one there, one there, and then there's a couple of coat hangers above each one. The idea behind that being if you've got a wet coat or something, where are you going to hang it that it isn't in the way? So that's what they're for. Uh, behind the driver's seat, we obviously won't spin the driver's seat round when we're in this van. Um, because there's plenty of room up the back. So my table modifications are stored behind the back. There's also a coat hanger there just to hang a jacket out of the way. Uh, again, we've put a table mount on the floor and dispensed with the freestanding table that you get with the van. This is just the little secret cupboard at the end that uh, is normally screwed shut. Right, there we go then. So all the little storage the hacks that I've done are in one sort of video now for reference as I say there's enough um, text on the screen to tell you in the text below the video I'll put the original um, video titles so you can find how to do it um, I appreciate that not everybody is interested in this or even wants to um, modify their van in this way you know i've had a couple of comments in the past oh you're ruining that van or whatever well in my opinion i've bought it to use and some of the standard features are not suitable so i'm not really wrecking it in my opinion i'm making it more usable so if you don't uh, agree and you want to give me a thumbs down that's fine just remember when you do a thumbs down you have to press it twice or it doesn't work catch you later Ta -da.